A simple way of monitoring the effect of different CO2 levels on photosynthesis is to use a water plant like Canadian pondweed. As the plant photosynthesizes, it produces oxygen, which is released as bubbles into the water. The amount of oxygen produced in a given time is a measure of the rate of photosynthesis. A good source of carbon dioxide is sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. The greater the concentration, the greater the amount of carbon dioxide available to the pondweed. To begin with, the plant is immersed in a 0.01 molar solution. A small funnel attached to a capillary tube is placed over the top of the plant to collect the oxygen produced. After a period of equilibration, the solution is drawn through the capillary tube to remove any air. The oxygen produced is then collected for three minutes. After this time, the gas bubble is pulled into the capillary tube so that its length can be measured. It's 19 millimetres long. So, with a 0.01 molar hydrogen carbonate solution, the bubble is 19 millimetres. At a concentration of 0.05, the bubble is 39 millimetres. At 0.1 molar, the bubble is 64. As CO2 concentration increases, so does the size of the oxygen bubble. How has increasing the CO2 level affected the rate of photosynthesis?